Good afternoon, dear audience, colleagues, and co-workers. I represent National University of Life and Environmental Sciences of Ukraine. And now, on slide one, you will see my output data and email. The topic of my paper is suffix of world lexical items and features of their transformation in modern European languages on the material of modern terms. In scientific literature, the problem of universality of the picture of the world, linguistic, conceptual, made, scientific, is more often distorted, which indicates the integrity of the functional system of the Ukrainian language. With the existence of different scientific schools, the current state of modeling the picture of the world and attempts to describe it demonstrates the openness and accordingly the discordance of the issue. The terms as a part of the terminological matrix of the corresponding sphere of knowledge has long been localized in the vocabulary of the Ukrainian language. Nowadays, as Mr. Barano notes, there are over 25,000 terminological standards. Particular standards for the organization of terminology system are developed not only at the national level of which there are over a hundred, but also at the international level. International research in the field of terminology is coordinated by the Vienna International Center for Terminology Information, InfoTerm, the international organization for the Unification of Terminological Nologism in Warsaw, the International Organization for Standardization. Terminological data banks are formed and supported by the Technical Committee for the Standardization. Computer version of machine translation are created. Also in this way, the unification of the scientific understanding of the word acquire practical and industrial Significance. The development of terminological standards is also carried out by some companies which set the priority principles of codification of information and technical terminology system. Nowadays, we often don't think about the word we use in everyday life, in science, which are closely integrated into the general national vocabulary or have became part of a special deliberate vocabulary. We don't know what their origin is. We don't know how difficult or easy the process of establishing a lexical unit in the language space was, or whether there were barriers to the adaptation of new words in our vocabulary compared to other language families. Often a complex process of nominative and communication function of naming a specific words which over the uh, centuries and centuries has been transformed into professions and scientific terms is behind the sound shell of the world. The material for the study was two word dictionaries, encyclopedias, reports, and scientific fiction of law and economics. Double and triple words from 80s to beginning of the 20th century, English, French, Polish, German, and Ukrainian economic and legal dictionaries and encyclopedias. Also the dictionaries of Polish, French, German and Ukrainian languages, Brockner, Dolz, Lutz, Welp, Meyer and others, which you can see on the screen. This study is the process of creation of modern legal and economic terms in a synchronous perspective. Uh, when we need a role to explain the origin of the term, to show the path taken by this or that term, the author turned to the etymological dictionary, that is, will took the data of the dictionary. The article presents a detailed analysis of dictionary definitions in the structure of which uh, finite terminological elements are highlighted. Suffixal borrowed lexemes of model terms are considered from the uh, standpoint of the semantic analysis and Latin morphology as the most common finite element in European languages. The hypothesis of complete or partial adaptation of the structural element is confirmed and the ways and means of their penetration into the system of various languages are considered. 
This article is also based on the deductio method and is in attempt to substantiate the study of language phenomena and their patterns. Taking into account the results of our previous studies as well as the works carried out during the 19th and 20th centuries, in the work we have analyzed the final terminologies element and analyzed them from the point of view of semantics and vocabulary and determined uh, the level of adaptation of classical terminological elements in modern European languages. There are no glasses, conjectures, perceptions, fantasies here. The book is based on concentrated language facts, formalized and generalized into general conclusions and interpreted into semantic models. In the future, they can be used in information and speech languages and their servant systems. The new trends of industry 4.0 and related technologies and are impossible without the exchange of data embedded by people in an automated system. This is why we are in real time creating a future framework that degrades people's culture identification. It consists in the fact that terms with finite elements of classical origin have undergone varying degrees of adaptation in modern European languages. They are characterized by a standard set of semantic meaning groups and in terms of origin the terms go back to classical languages. What internal changes occur in the words, whether the lexical meaning can be uh, reinterpreted, there are the questions we want to answer by looking at the international structure of the items. Language reconstruction of verb forms evolutionarily changed in morphology, different methods at, uh, of ethnological analysis and the study of language universalities have always been the subject of studies of comparative and historical linguistics. The work reveals the best models of the information of modern terms. The study of the terminological matrix, which helps to fold a layer of terms created by analogy, they are distinguished by a common semantic meaning. Scientific efficiency of this research, creating dictionaries of various types, forming theoretical works on lexicography, extrapolation to the lexical system of the language, the creation of names is carried over according to the laws of the language, which is immediately improved and systematized. Consideration of the ways and means of penetration of the terminal elements of terms into the system of various languages shows the importance of terminal elements in the new European languages. Terms with terminal elements of classical origin have undergone varying degrees of adaptation in modern European languages. We can speak of a complete adaptation of Latin verb nouns, which appeared through Polish, Italian, French. The model of terms and the dynamics of their formation are determined by the three most frequent semantic groups. The process of borrowing Latin and Greek words of their parts cannot be considered complete for any of the European languages, and the study of the ways and means of penetration of terminological elements into the systems of different languages shows the importance of terminological elements in the new European languages. In the context of the existence of new trends, we lay down the norms and standards of communication that were attributed to human society and antiquity. We show that we accumulated linguistic experience of mankind based on objects of the uh, physical world can simply be copied and in its own superior form can have a new sound. Information becomes valuable only when it is uh, guaranteed to be used. 
The new paradigm of uh, contemporary language research as the challenge of our time. Uh, one may or may not agree with this statement, but he who processes information is its owner. The research material can be used in the educational process, applied in the practice of teaching language disciplines, oral and written speech for foreign students, and as an extension used in applied interdisciplinary uh, research. Our proposal is to take into account the standard semantic groups with their internal and external modification in order to form a uniform terminology system for our use. Thank you for your attention.